Now we have the impression. We need to make uh, a cast by pouring the impression with plaster of Paris. We need 50 ml of water and 100 grams uh, of uh, plaster of Paris powder. We first add water to the uh, rubber bowl. And then we add uh, the powder. Always stick to the measurements. We start mixing with all the powder particles with water. Then on the vibrator, we place the first pour. So we place a plaster of Paris or the mix at one side and on the vibrator, we move it to the other side. So this is the first pour of a plaster of Paris. Make sure that it covers the fitting surface of the impression and let the material flow from one side to cover the impression on the other side. By this we make sure that all air bubbles are excluded from the surface of the impression. Then the second pour is added. Uh, the impression is uh, fully covered with impression uh, plaster and some retention or indentation grooves are made on the top of the second pour. Here is the lower impression. Uh, we start by placing, impression, by placing the plaster of Paris at one side and the material is left to cover the impression and flow to the other side okay on the vibrator so by this we make sure that no air bubbles are trapped on the surface of the cast Now the second pour is added. Make sure that the borders or the flanges of the impression are covered with uh, the plaster of Paris. A little bit of vibration and the retention grooves. Then we need to make a base for the impression. Another mix of uh, plaster of Paris is made. And on a piece of paper or on the base former, this mix is placed. and some plaster of Paris from the fresh mix is added on top of the second pour
and now the impression is placed the upper impression now we're making a base for the impression or a base for for the cast Make sure that all areas of all anatomical areas of the impression are covered with a uh, plaster of Paris. Leave the tongue space uh, clean. Any excess is better removed now because the material is still soft. Now after 40 minutes, uh, both uh, uh, or uh, all the layers of plaster are fully set now. Now we're going to retrieve the impression, to remove the impression from the cast. First we remove the plaster of Paris that covers uh, the tray or the flanges. of the impression so we can uh, retrieve the tray with the impression compound so use plaster knife to remove the excess This excess is covering the uh, flange of the impression. So it's better removed so the tray can be easily removed from the cast. The cast with the tray can be soaked in uh, hot water for a few seconds to soften the impression compound. Then it will be easier to separate uh, the compound from the cast. And then by pivoting uh, the tray from the cast, it can be removed. So soaking for a few seconds will be uh, sufficient to soften the impression compound and make uh, removal easier. The tray uh, has been removed and the excess compound is now removed from the cast. Now retrieving the upper impression.
There's still some uh, plaster of Paris covering the side of the tray, so it's a bit difficult to remove. Okay, so the tray is removed and then the impression material is removed from the cast. All impression compound must be removed from the cast. The surface of the cast must be clean, smooth, no air bubbles. Now we need to trim uh, the cast. The sides of the cast must be smooth uh, and vertical and leaving a horizontal area around the sulcus that's called the land area to preserve the sulcus. Uh, around the cast posteriorly the cast wants to be straight And the base must be flat. The upper cast is also trimmed. Uh, the sides of the cast must be vertical. Self cast must be preserved. Posteriorly, and 
and the base of the cast is trimmed to make sure that it's flat and the cast is stable on the bench and it's not rocking these are the casts the sides uh, of the cast are vertical the base thickness should be at least 15 millimeters 15 millimeters and 10 millimeters in the thinnest area the tongue space on the lower cast must be clean and flat uh, the sides must be vertical again the least thickness uh, of the base of the cast is 10 millimeters and the sulcus is preserved the surface of the cast is free of voids or bubbles representing the anatomy on the impression